And now I'm stargazing You stay for the star, but I've been scarred lately Taking keys, stealing cars, we just some lost babies Live too fast, now I'm grown Excuses in my head, I ain't thinking I'm wrong Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. So thank you so much for stopping by. Um, as you can tell by the title of today's video, it's another unboxing, I know, shocking. <laughs> but actually today's unboxing video is not as like massive as my unboxings normally are. We only have three items, <laughs> but all three of these items are super, super special and I can't wait to share them with you. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video, you guys. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Brie Carmore, all one word all spelled out <laughs> and I will see you guys in the video I love you so much and be back in a minute okay so the first item I'm gonna be showing you actually funny story so you guys I am super American when it comes to my pronunciations you guys saw my last vlog I was like woo okay so this brand and my baby sister she's able to say it better than me she's fluent in French it's Jacques Mew I think I got it. I, if it's up to me, I think the man's name is Jacquemus. Jacquemus, okay? <laughs> but I'm also the same girl who, when I was in France with my baby sister, when I took her there uh, two summers ago, we were asking the concierge at our hotel, what well, I was asking, um, for the shopping center. And I, <laughs> I called it the Champs Dailies. Yeah, I'll just sit that there for anybody who even remotely knows what I'm trying to say because everybody was like, what? Even Bianca was like, what are you talking about? Champs Dailies, yeah. Champs Elysees. She was trying to say Champs Elysees. <laughs> And a lot of you guys have already seen this in my, um, probably on my Instagram, but also on my last vlog because I kind of unboxed it, but I just wanted to show it to you in this video. So this is the Images Coffee Table by Jock Mew. Okay, and if I'm not saying it right this time, like I'm over it. I'm going back to Hakuimus. Um, <laughs> just kidding, but this is the Images Coffee Table book. Oh, and look, it does match my nails. And yes, I did that on purpose. Actually, no, it was actually an accident. But yeah, um, but this is what the book looks like, you guys. It's super amazing and it's just so luxurious. And I got it to go specifically upstairs and it matches my upstairs movie room just like perfectly. I'm obsessed. Okay, so moving right along, um, the next item I'm going to show you. Um, when I got this item, my plan was to unbox it like live on camera. I never do like a genuine unboxing. You guys always get like a re-unboxing, but I'm so happy I didn't because when I first opened it, I was really undecided about it. Um, and even in the video that I tried to film yesterday, like you could just see it on my face. Like I was like, oh, but I think I love it now more. So we're going to open it together. I might insert some of the unboxing clips from yesterday because they were really cute. But today I cannot be bothered to tie the Chanel ribbon and oh, okay, it's Chanel. <laughs> but so Chanel box with that gorgeous camellia flower. And yeah, so I might pop some of those unboxing clips in there just so you can get a feel for the like genuine unboxing. So here is what the inside looks like. So you've got the Chanel little book that they always include. Girl, this is not the book, sorry. <laughs> this is the envelope that's going to have your care packet in there and then also your Chanel dust cloth for your bag. And then here is the Chanel little book. So this is what it looks like. It's just got black and white photos and information about Chanel. So, okay, so. So you can tell by the dust bag that it came in, what kind of bag it is or isn't, should I say. So black Chanel dust bag. And are you ready? I don't know if anybody could guess what this bag is because I don't even, this bag was not actually on my wish list. This was one of those moments that like I just saw it and okay, that's a lie. So this particular bag, I have never been a fan of. Like I've even gone on record like on social media saying that I'm not a fan of this bag. Um, 
However, it came out in like a different texture and I was kind of like, okay, you know, maybe never jump the gun. And then it came out in this color and I had just been completely obsessing over it. I mean, like half the pictures on my like saved photos and Instagram are up this bag. Um, and of course it was like a super rare, hard to get your hands on colorway. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show it to you right now. So, <laughs> so this is the Chanel 19 flap bag. Um, so it's not a classic, not yet. Um, it's the Chanel flap bag. The size is 19 and it's the smaller of the two sizes. I don't remember what the other size is. It is in goat skin leather and it is the 21p which is the chanel season i don't know what the p stands for the 21 is for 2021 though i know that um <laughs> and it is in the 21p caramel color and the color is delicious so let's just get into this color and how sweet is this is this bag now i will say like one of the reasons that i was disappointed when i opened it was because I've never seen this bag in person. That's my mistake. Like you guys know, I'm always buying stuff online, always personal shopping. Like I can't be bothered to go into a store. Um, however, with this one, I should have, because I feel like a lot of times when I, when you see things online, they look bigger. So it showed up to my house and I was just like, it's so small. And I was like, is this the right bag? Like, is this the wrong size? Like, I feel like in every picture I've seen of this bag or like and everyone's like Instagram posts or YouTube videos it looks bigger and it even looks bigger now that I'm holding it by myself and I can see in the camera but it is a lot smaller than I was thinking it was gonna be so like I said this is the Chanel um, 19 flap bag in the color caramel that was new for 2021 but it is quite gorgeous so it does have the mixed hardware so it's got like that vintage gold color here and then you've got the ruthenium hardware and then you've also got like a shiny silver hardware so on the inside this is what she looks like on the inside so it's just a one um pocket then you've got a zipper compartment here and then the placard that just says chanel um and so here is what the strap looks like so this is another thing about this bag that I was just really unsure about. So my main reasons for not really, really liking it at first was because it's not a structured bag. Um, you guys know that like majority of the bags I own are pretty structured, like my book totes and things like that. So it's not structured. It's pretty squishy. Um, but then also the mixed hardware, I think, threw me off a little bit, just a little bit. Um... So you can see it's got that mixed hardware. It does have a pocket in the back that just buttons like this. And then more of the mixed hardware. And then it's got like this little shoulder rest thing. So the bag can be worn top handle. It's got like a really small little handle here. But the main way that you wear this bag is going to be either on your shoulder or crossbody. And I think for me, I just feel like this bag in this particular color, but even just the bag by itself, like I don't feel like it's casual enough to be worn as a crossbody. I feel like a crossbody bag is something very casual and this bag does not give me casual girl vibes um, whatsoever. But I will definitely give you guys some mod shots just so you can see what I'm talking about. So like I was saying earlier, the bag definitely has grown on me. Um, I think I just need to like style it with things and see how it looks like with an actual outfit like all put together but as far as the color goes like you guys this color is delicious it is just very diverse so it looks very caramel it can take on like a more orange bronzy tone and then in direct sunlight like it looks very just tan and muted i'm obsessed i really 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 do love it it is very squishy as you can see um but i think i'm gonna really end up liking this bag so <laughs> yeah the jury's still out a little bit you guys leave me your comments you guys give me really good advice and i always know i can trust your opinion so just let me know what you think down in the comments do you think she's a keeper or are you not really feeling her i'm definitely not gonna return this bag like that would be insane um because everybody and their mother wants this bag right now and i have it so but yeah i'm just hoping that i'm gonna fall in love with it like in a couple days Okay, so now next, <laughs> getting into something very special as well. Let's go ahead. Oh, God, this is not even my video, honey. No, I am. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this Woo. man is. 
I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this Woo. man. So <laughs> next up, we've got another very special piece. So I picked her up yesterday, fresh from Hermes. So you guys, um, I have actually, this has been kind of on my wish list for a little while. Um, but I'd never been too crazy about these. So it is a pair of shoes. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. Um, but I'd never been too crazy about it until like I'd seen like a couple of influencers like wear these. And they're super, super cute. Like they look really cute for vacation. And so I went ahead and did it. So this is the receipt here. Little note from my essay. And then your actual receipt. And so... Like I said, it is a pair of shoes. So it comes in your typical Hermes orange box that we all love. And honestly, you guys, to be like such an expensive pair of like little sandals, cause that's what they are. Um, you would think that it would come with like wraps and like tissue paper, but literally no, this is how it comes. So it's just your shoes inside of two Hermes dust bags. That's it. Yeah, this is the box that they came in. And so you get two dust, dust bags. And so it is a pair of sandals. And so these are the Hermes Oran sandals in the color gold. And I got mine in my typical size. They're in a size 38. Um, they fit okay. Um, I will say that I am somebody who has very narrow feet, like this way, but pretty wide feet in the front. Um, and so I just feel like they look a little funny on me, but I'll show you guys and you can tell me what you think. But these are the sandals that I got from Hermes. Like I said, these are the Oran sandals in the color gold. Um, and I did get them thinking that they were going to match my Chanel bag, which is why I should go and look at things uh, in person instead of just like texting my essay, but that's okay. Here is the bag and this is the shoes so i still think they match pretty well um the color of the shoes is definitely showing up a lot darker on camera than they truly are but i still think that they complement each other very well <laughs> so yeah well you guys that concludes today's little miniature haul <laughs> don't forget to like comment subscribe all of that good stuff you guys i post new videos here every sunday and coming in may it's going to be two days a week so i think it's going to be wednesday and sunday but you know who knows <laughs> and that's because our amazing baby sister bianca graduates from college next week and you guys it's so huge it's very monumental which means now i can work her like you know as much as i want to because now she's completely free just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, so you guys, I will um, be posting more often. We're going to go to twice weekly starting um, next month. So that's super, super exciting, you guys. But yeah, so don't forget to turn those post notifications on so you get notified every single time I post a new video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Brie Carmore, all one word, all spelled out. I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a very, very, very blessed start to your 2021, and I'll see you next week.